and welcome back to another day of bake mints. I don't know why I have to do like a Mrs. Pot thing, except it's one. Which one? No, I'm just doing thriller. Thriller? making some of my world's famous cookies. And this video is a twofer. I said that in another video and I was like, it's weird, Megan, you don't have to say that. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a base cookie dough and then I'm gonna be making two different kinds of cookies with that cookie dough. Did you like that? I did like the two roads diverging yellow wood thing with my hands. Poetry jokes. I'm very into baking cookies as Christmas and holiday gifts for people. Pretty much exclusively what I do for like the real grown-ups in my life. Not that like my friends and I aren't real grown-ups, but like the real real ones where I'm like, I don't know what to get you. You have like a house of kids. So I bake cookies. I'm uploading this so you guys have enough time. If you want to bake these and bring them to people, you can. Let's get started. I'm gonna be doing this in my stand mixer because this makes a lot of dough. That's because I've doubled this recipe to then make into two different kinds of dough because more is more. In here I have my butter. I'm gonna slowly mix this just so it gets like a little lighter and fluffier before we add in our sugars and really cream it together. This is gonna take a while. Okay, so now I've added in white sugar and the brown sugar and I'm just going to cream this together until it gets really light and fluffy. Once it's light and fluffy, scrape down again, and we are going to add in our eggs, one at a time. <laughs> scraping down the sides. That's 90% of what all these fucking videos are. I mean, just scraping down the sides of the bowl. Mmm, popcorn. <laughs> Next goes in vanilla. <laughs> Guess what we're gonna do? Scrape down the goddamn sides. Stay with me, everybody. Scrape on down the sides. My Italian accent for cookies, okay. Now in here I have my flour and my leavener and my salt. Woo! I'm gonna add in the dry ingredients to the mixer. One to two scoops at a time. You don't wanna over mix it. One at a time. Maybe two, because that's gonna take a fucking long time. And we're gonna mix it on low. Nice. And say it again. Scrape down sides. One so more scrape time. down sides. So it's a scrapey down sides. It's my turntable. I almost said I'm a disc jockey. Isn't that with horses? No, that's literally oh. a DJ. <laughs> Another two scoops. <laughs> this is riveting shit, people. Also, the other half of your videos is you just like talking shit about your own thing. <laughs> I had read somewhere something about like self-deprecating sense of humor. It was someone saying that that was like a deal breaker for them, that they really hate that. Oh gosh! And I was like, okay. I, I wouldn't be able to exist without that. They're like, it's a sign of insecurity. I'm like, I know. Yeah. What time is it? Scrape down the sides. It's like a good call and response song <laughs> that like you like you play along with the Cupid Shuffle on a cruise ship. Everyone does like salad bowl dance yes. and then like turn into scrape down the sides. Scrape down the sides. To the left, to the left. <laughs> what scrape this time? <laughs> Two scrapes this time. Take it back. Now. There you go. Scrape, 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 scrape. Can you do it real slow? <laughs> Can you bring it to the floor? I've gone to so many weddings this year and I've yet to go to one that has not played that song. I mean, it's a classic, but that, the YMCA, Macarena. You know I met them, village people. I love that that's, did you go to a concert? What? They performed at our county theater. <laughs> wow, I really haphazardly did that one. I like how you just combined two words there. Haphazard. Haphazardly is the word. That's the word. Haphazardly. Like, not fully haphazardly. You only have way that. Yeah. I thought that's what that word meant. I always thought it was haphazard, and it was like I haphazardly did something. Like, not a full day. Yeah. Job. Like, it's I thought it was like. I thought dangerous. about it kind of, but like, it was a little bit like I didn't put all the effort in. I literally. So, what word am I supposed to use for that? For like half. Bad? Yeah, that's the only one I use. I mean, you could say haphazardly, that's okay. The definition still works. It's just it's more hazardly than you yeah, would Yeah, yeah, I just, I want 50 50. I go to real school. Ugh. But I did meet the village 
people. <laughs> Now that this is all combined, I'm gonna finger it and uh, get it all clean. Family content. Family fucking content. Just call me family friendly. Get out the way, bitch. Oh my god, this is gonna kill my arms. Oh, we've got some dry spots at the bottom. <laughs> I'm going to estimate and cut the dough in half ish I like the same ish we're gonna put this one aside focus on the first dough this one is kind of like a kitchen sink cookie i do these a lot around the holidays because i bake in general around the holidays a lot so i'm left with a lot of partially used ingredients so this is kind of where i go ham with that so you could really put anything in this because you put like nuts some people put the like coffee grounds all that stuff what i'm gonna do is chocolate chips peanut butter chips pretzels and potato chips which might sound crazy but if you've never had like a salty sweet combo. It's very, very, very good. Do like half of this, half of this. Let's start with potato chips. You can just get out your aggression. Also, these are plain salted chips. Mops was like, why aren't you buying barbecue chips? And I was like, these are going in cookies. I'm gonna leave them in like chunks, decent chunks. And then pretzels, which these are actually really hard to break. Oh. For my items strong. Oh, I'm gonna add more chips just because I want to. I like to really fill these cookies to the brim and then make sure you save some of the toppings so once you scoop the cookies out, you can press them into the top. That's how, you know, food bloggers and everyone get really like perfectly pretty cookies because they, you know. Cheat. Look at that. Looks like vomit. It's gonna taste good. Okay, we're gonna set this aside and then finish the second dough. I know I said that they're the exact same dough. And you just split them up and you don't have to do this. I do wanna add in an additional ingredient to this one, which you can't even see. It's a little bit of almond extract. Okay, I'm gonna need more than that. <laughs> It's also what I put in my sugar cookies. I just think it pairs really well with the cranberries and the white chocolate, but it's totally optional. Just why I said that they're the same recipe because they're pretty much the fucking same. This just needs to go for like literally five seconds. Cool, great, got it, done. In here, I'm going to add dried cranberries. You could do any sort of dried fruit. We just have an excessive amount of dried cranberries because Moss buys a trail mix from Trader Joe's that has cranberries in it and I don't like dried fruits, so then I eat the nuts out of it and then I put all the cranberries in plastic bags to use for this recipe. And then white chocolate chips, which aren't real chocolate, but even people who've told me that they hate white chocolate like these. And I said exactly that statement. To quote, <laughs> okay, time to scoop it all out. I'm gonna be using a large cookie scoop. You could use a small cookie scoop. You could use spoons, spoons. You could, ah, So we're gonna scoop and put it onto a silicone lined baking sheet. Also do parchment paper. Oh yeah, look at that. We can add in some chocolate chips. Stick your pretzel right up there. A potato chip in there. Great. Lovely. Honestly, you could freeze these if you wanted to, if you wanted to bake them from being cold. I'm probably just gonna pop them into the fridge for like 10-ish minutes, because I don't really mind if these spread as much. You don't want them to be like warm, warm. Otherwise, they'll just totally, totally cool out. Why do I keep saying everything twice? Warm, warm, totally, totally. Let's put these in the fridge and then we will scoop out the other one. So, you know, I don't know why I'm explaining. It's the same fucking thing. And then these will go into the fridge for like five to 10-ish minutes until they've kind of come together. The cookies were in the fridge for about 10-ish minutes. Baked them off at 350 for about seven to 11 minutes, depending on how much I like overstuffed the cookie skin. And now they've been cooled slightly. So Aislinn might burn her mouth, but it's time for her to taste us. Which one are you excited to try? Uh, I think you can take a wild guess. Ooh. <gasps> Look at that crop. What is what is mm. what is Babish call it? Cross hatch? Cross stitch? Cross. Just doing some quick needle point. I think it's cross hatch. No, it's Probably. not. It's really not. <laughs> well, mm. don't burn your mouth. Sorry. <laughs> mm. oh, do you want to try the second one? You've already mm. had it. Ooh, yeah. Whatever. For everyone to know. I love this because it's so smart. If you're like going somewhere and you mm -hmm. want to bring cookies, you look like extra impressive because you've cooked two different batches of cookies, but they're just the same. And they're so delicious and they're different enough because of the tang, I think, mm -hmm. of like the cranberry. Like you wouldn't think that they're the same yeah. cookie. 
and they're very good score well guys if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up again the recipe will be on the blog and check back for more bakemas we will be back goodbye Goddamn, yes. Come on. And then this just needs. Nope. 